perfect. Oh man, whatever does this. What the heck is this though? Some kind of uh <laughs> Blue striped brunch. Another one to the collection. This time on the English beer. According to one guy on, on my Instagram account, some aquarium folks pay like $100 for one of these. And here I am in Fort Lauderdale. I can actually get this for free. Yeah? This one came with a damaged tail too. <laughs> Oh man, beautiful, beautiful colors, huh? Especially, especially inside of its mouth. Check this out. Inside the mouth of this grunge, red, huh? Vermilion, beautiful. French grunge right here, I think. I'm not sure. I need to look at the book and try to figure out. Yeah. So pretty much below me, I uh, see another. Yeah, the, the inside of the mouth is red. All most grunts are like that. Let's stay here a little bit and see what other species we can get. We're right on top of the reef. Pretty much easily gets snagged here, much. So we got a couple. Of, yeah, new species. Awesome, dude! Finally, some kind of neat fish here. I've never seen something like this before, but it's super cool. All right. Oh, oh, slimy. What is this, man? Some kind of rasse? Well, whatever this is, it's super beautiful and pretty. Whoa, this fish. I wish I had all of these fishes in the fish tank. Oh, no, no, no. Not our photo, buddy. Not without photo. Super slimy. Super slimy fella. It's got teeth, you know, it's got powerful teeth. My hands are all slimed now too, so it makes me difficult, you know, to take a photo of this fella. I want to take a full body, you know. 
gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Only in Florida, you'll actually see this kind of stuff. Man, who, who would want to eat a fish like this? You know what I'm saying? One photo for the Instagram, yeah? Truly amazing, yeah? Alright, time to let this guy go. I'm using a size 10 hook, yeah? Very, very small. With just a piece of squid. Same as the one I just caught. It's some kind of rasse. But the color, I don't know, the color looks different. I don't even know. They are so slimy. I think it's the same one. I think it's the same one, but just in case, I'm gonna take a photo, yeah? They are pretty abundant over here, it seems so, because this is the second one I caught. You know, any fish that I catch more than one is not a rarity. That's that's what I like to say. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. But you know, it never hurts to take a photo, right? So... Yep, there we go. This, this is definitely a new species, alright? This has got... Yeah, yeah, this is a new species for sure, alright? I don't know how you call this, how you pronounce it, Rasse or Rasse or something, but this is definitely one of those. And a very beautiful one. And it looks like, is this a rainbow one? I don't remember. I have to look, I have to go back to the book and check it out. But it's gorgeous, I can tell you this much. photos of it yeah final view there we go good to go Oh man. All right, there we go. Give me something new, please. Oh no. I already got this one, all right? Eh. Beautiful though. But what use are you to me if I already caught plenty of you, huh? Go back where you belong. All right, new species. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first ever. I don't even know the count now, but I know this is new because I don't know what it is. Beautiful, gorgeous. Never caught one of these before. This is probably number 90 something. Let's take a photo of it. It's 
truly amazing, huh? One little piece of squid on a size 10 hook. And you can catch all different types of fish on the reef. Got a, got a little bit of teeth here, yeah. Not enough to hurt you. Two, bl two black stripes, yellow body. Beautiful, truly beautiful. Yeah, YouTube, Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Philly Fishing Channel. So thank you very much for watching part 5 of my Florida trip, huh? Now there is only one part left, hallelujah. <laughs> Alright, it's been forever since I went to Florida and I, you know, I still haven't done editing all the parts yet. It is just a lot of work and my time has been very limited due to my job, you know, and everything else, okay? So I apologize for that in advance, okay? In this video, as you guys saw, I was pretty much micro fishing, okay? So fishing for species of fish that are less than six inches, okay? The wind was very strong, I apologize for that. Nothing I could have done about it, you know? Modern nature sometimes is harsh, you know? And that's why I added a photo of every species of fish, right, after I caught it, so you guys could have a good view of the fish at least, okay? Um, before I go to the fish identification guide, just a couple um, comments overall on the Florida trip, right? I did this Florida trip back in October of 2015, right at the end of October. So now it is the end of November. It's been almost a month, yeah? As you guys saw in the first four parts plus this part right here, I had no idea, absolutely no idea what types of fish I was catching, you know, everything was improvised. I didn't really think about the filming aspect when I went down there fishing, you know, my time was very limited. So I was always like hurrying, hurrying, hurrying and try to catch as many different types of fish as possible, okay? But as you guys know, this upcoming week, I'm going to Florida again. So I'll be staying there for four days and this time there is no business. It's going to be fishing only. So this time, expect me to, I mean, I'll go down there, I'll hit different places, try to catch different types of fish, right? But this time, I will give you guys a proper introduction, you know, I'll talk about my setup, so you guys know what I'm using, you guys will be able to see that, you know, everything is going to be more organized. Not to mention that if I catch any fish there that is part of these, thir these 30 species of fish that I've caught before, right, things are going to be better, because I will at least be able to tell you, listen, this is this, and that is that, and that's how you identify it, okay? All right, without further delay, let's go into the identification guide for this video, okay? So let me see if I remember, uh, the first fish that we're going to identify for this video is what? The snake fish, right? Let's take a look here at the snake fish, okay? So here we got here a very beautiful sample of the snake fish. Trachinocephalus meops, okay? And uh, seriously, folks, this fish is just gorgeous, all right? Everyone was making fun of me at the pier for being so excited about such a small species of fish, but for a multi-species angler, that is golden, okay? Those who don't practice multi-species will never be able to catch a fish like this, all right? So this fish only grows up to 40 centimeters, that's like its max size, so 15 inches. But in average, in general, you will, you will pretty much catch a fish that is less than 6 inches, okay? Another curious fact about the snakefish is that this fish is the only species of its genus, okay? So again, its genus is Trachinocephalus. This is the only Trachinocephalus in the whole world, okay? It is not like, for example, the Grunt genus, right? You have the Hyamulon. Uh, you have, for example, the Hyamulon Parra for the sailor's choice, or the Hyamulon uh, Flavolineatum, which is the French grunge that we're going to talk in this video, etc. Okay, it has only this guy, that's it. He's the single one there of the genus. To identify this fish, it is actually very easy. Okay, this fish has horizontal stripes on its body, pretty much both blue, okay, and yellow slash orange, okay? Also note this fish has faint vertical bars on its body, okay? A little bit hard to notice, but once you notice it, it is there. 
Final detail, final detail, it has a big, big mouth compared to its body, okay? With a small needle-like teeth, okay? Now, now let's take a look at the second fish that we caught in this video, the French Grunch. Here we have one of the most beautiful fish that I caught down in Florida, okay? The French Grunch, Haemulon flavolineatum, okay? It is truly gorgeous and very easy to identify because everything on this fish is yellow, okay? It stripes on its body, yellow. Not to mention that all of its fins, okay? Pectoral, pelvic, anal, caudal, dorsal, they're all yellow, okay? All yellow. So again, very easy to identify, gorgeous fish, you know? It, it's just... The warm colors make you feel so nice about it, you know? <laughs> okay, third species in this video was the slippery dick. That's right, its name is the slippery dick because the fish is just very slippery and very hard to grab, to have a grip, you know? Uh, as you guys saw in the video, I caught two different uh, slippery dicks in this video, right? Their coloration was very different from each other, but both of them were the same species, okay? And they did have trouble holding it, right, as you guys saw it. So let's take a look at it. Here we have the slippery dick, Halicoeres bivitatus, okay? As I mentioned, the colors on this fish really, really vary a lot, okay? If you guys ever catch one of these, what you really have to look up to is the combination of pink color with green color, okay? That's pretty much it, okay? Not to mention, of course, that the pattern on the head of this fish is fundamental, okay? You can catch different slippery decks with different colorations, right? But the pattern on the head, this pattern that you see right here, right? That is the key, okay, to identifying this fish. Uh, next fish that we caught in the video was also in the Ras. How do you pronounce that? I think it was Rasse, no, Ras. Yeah, Ras, something like that. I still can't pronounce it very well, you know? English is my fourth language. You folks know already. I have a, a big problem with pronunciation when it comes to certain words, right? Ras. <laughs> All right. So the fourth fish that we caught was the pudding wife Ras. Okay, let's take a look at it. Another beautiful fish here, okay? The pudding wife Ras, Halicoeres radiatus, okay? Colors vary a lot as well, okay? But one thing about this species, okay, is that there is blue everywhere. There's blue in the head, blue in the body, blue in the tail, okay? You will see really little stripes or dots of blue everywhere. No, Now, notice that what makes this fish unique are the three black spots on its body, okay? And the two horizontal yellow slash orange lines on its body, all right? Beautiful, beautiful fish, man. One of the most beautiful fishes that I've ever seen in my life, okay? That's one type of fish that I would definitely want to put inside my fish tank, all right, just to show people. Anyways, let's move on. The last fish that we caught in this video, if I'm not wrong, was the pork fish. So let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look at the pork fish, shall we? So here we have here the sample of the pork fish. Anisotremus virginicus, okay? And again, this fish is very easy to identify also because it has two black marks on its head, which are unique to this fish. One mark passes through the eye and the other mark passes behind the operculum, okay? After the two marks, this fish has yellow horizontal stripes and just like similar to the French grunge, you have yellow on all of its fins, okay? So it, it, it was a very interesting type of fish, you know? And overall, on this microfishing day, right, it was very exciting because I pulled so many different species of fish, right? As you guys saw in this video, I'm pretty much in the 90s already. And up to date, up to November, end of November, right, today is November 27th, Black Friday, I'm up to 99 species of fish. So I'm almost there, okay? Just before I finish this video, as you guys know, I always tend to add one or two species that I've caught there at night time. Because, you know, with the GoPro, you can't really f film at night time, right? So once again, let's take a look at one fish here that I caught at night time. Let's take a look at it. Here, you got the Lane 
Snapper, okay? Lutjanus Sinagris, okay? This was actually in my 4,000 subscribers giveaway contest, okay? And a lot of people identify this fish as a squirrel fish somehow, which, which is very different than the lane snapper, okay? So let's give a proper identification for this fish. You can see yellow striped lines, short, okay? Yellow striped lines on its body. There is a signature black dot close to its soft dorsal fin, not to mention that this fish has red on its mouth, its dorsal fin, and its tail, okay? That is the lane snapper, another beautiful, beautiful fish, okay? Anyways, folks, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in on my part five of the Florida fishing trip. Part six will be coming soon, I can tell you so soon. My life has been very hectic, okay? There are lots of things that I need to do. Work and holidays has kept me very, very busy, okay? Which is why I always tell folks, keep giving me your support. I truly appreciate it. I appreciate folks who follow this channel, watch the videos. I appreciate people who are supporting me on my, on my Patreon account, right? And, you know, if I can do this for a living one of these days, then you can expect, you know, videos to come on a regular schedule, you know, because right now, unfortunately, I have a lot of footage. I just don't have the time. You know, time is the one thing that I can't get over with. You know, I, it's, I don't have enough time to do everything on this YouTube channel. Anyways, anyways, enough complaining and more fishing, right? I'll keep you guys in touch. Trip to Florida coming up next week. More videos coming up. All right, keep in touch.